Today we're continuing our discussion on the analysis of one quantitative variable, still looking at descriptive statistics. Specifically today we're going to look at measures or summaries of variability. So there are two summaries of variability that we're going to talk about. One is variance and the other is standard deviation. So variance uh, has two measurements, one for the population and one for the sample. So when you talk about the notation for a population, you use sigma squared, and this is the notation for population variance. Then the notation for sample variance is S squared, and that represents variability in the sample. Now today what we actually want to focus on is the one that has a nicer definition, which is going to be standard deviation. So if I were to measure standard deviation for a population, I would take the square off, so it's just sigma, and this is going to be the notation for population standard deviation. And then if we were to measure standard deviation per sample, we would use the notation S, and this is representing sample standard deviation. So that's the one we're gonna focus on today because it has a nice definition. It's the average distance that values fall from the mean. So we're going to use this data set looking at number of pets where we calculated a couple videos ago the measurement for sample mean. So the first thing that you have to do when you measure average distance from the mean is know what the mean is. And so in a few videos past, we calculated the sample mean to be 2.8. So remember, you take all of the measurements, add them up, and then divide by the number of observations. So X bar, which is the notation for sample mean, came out to be 2.8. Next, you will measure what's called deviation. And so in our formula for standard deviation, for sample standard deviation, we have the formula So this first measurement that we're calculating is deviation. So First, we have to know the distance from the mean, and that's in the deviation calculation. So we're focusing on this top section of the formula right now. So we have 0 minus 2.8, so that distance, this observation is from the mean, and we'll do that for each of the observations, so all of them and their distances from the mean. So we have 0 minus 2.8, um, 3 minus 2.8, 5 minus 2.8, so that's that distance from the mean, um, 2 minus 2.8, and then we'll have one more that I'll add to the side. So this is negative 2.8. Here we have 0.2. Here we have 2.2, and then negative 0.8. And we have one more measurement or observation for minus 2.8, and that would give us a distance of 1.2. Now the problem with this, if we were to calculate this, all of these distances and average them, because they're including direction, they would cancel out. And so you'll notice in the standard deviation formula that we have to square those distances. So the third step is going to be to square those distances. So after we calculate all of the deviations, I'm going to square those values to get rid of direction. So we're still measuring distance from the mean, but now we're going to take the deviations you just saw and square them. So the first one, when we measured the distance from 0 to 2.8, it came out to be negative 2.8. We're going to square that in order to get um, distance but remove the direction. Then for 3 from 2.8 came out to be 0.2, and then 2.2 was the distance that 5 was from 2.8, and then 0.8 squared, and our last one is 1.2 squared. So those come out to be 
that squared distance, and I've gotten rid of the direction. 0 0.4, 0 0.04, excuse me, 4.84, 0 0.64, and then finally 1.44. So those are the distances squared, and we did that squaring in order to get rid of the direction. So we've done the deviation, now we've squared. Now we're going to add them all up and divide by n minus 1. So the next step, it actually turns out to be the calculation for variance. And so I am going to take my sums, add them up, or I'm going to sum by adding them, and that result ends up being variance. So when I add all of the values that I just calculated as squared distances, to get rid of our formula. So these are all of the distances squared, and remember we squared to get rid of direction. And then we're going to buy, divide by the number of observations minus 1. So my numerator, or the distances squared, is 14.8 divided by 4. So s squared turns out to be 3.7. So then in order for me to get S, which is standard deviation or distance, average distance from the mean, all I have to do in that fifth step is to figure out S. Well, I know S squared is 3.7, so I just have to take the square root of those values, which comes out to be 1.92. So that's sample standard deviation, which is the average distance that values fall from the mean. So there are two measures of variability, variance and standard deviation, and this is how you calculate it for the mean.